On today's podcast, we'll be covering three ways to avoid slips, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. Now, if you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money and each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. If you've ever worked in a location where the surfaces you stand on or travel on can become slick, you'll recognize just how important our topic today is. There are hundreds of fatalities, thousands of missed days, and thousands of OSHA violations related to slips in the workplace. As with most unsafe situations in the workplace, most of these situations could have been avoided. Here are just a few of the ways you can help to prevent slips from happening. 6S methodology, where you sort, set in order, shine, standardize, sustain, and be safe. By striving to make your facility more safe, productive and organized every day, hopefully you'll find and prevent slip hazards before they occur. Now, even though you can't always know what's going on to cause slips, there are some usual suspects to watch out for. This could include, but is never limited to, weather, especially rain, ice, and snow. Now, if you know your staff are gonna be tracking in these various forms of moisture, try to get ahead of the situation with absorbent mats, wet floor signs, regular mopping, fans, and anything you can do to keep surfaces dry. Machines and vehicles that leak water, fuel, oil, and or other lubricants. Please do whatever you can to stop these leaks. When you can't stop them, be sure to make staff aware of the situation and try to clean up leaks as they occur. Having spill containment products at the ready will greatly aid with areas such as this. Safety floor markings and signs. Making your staff aware of areas that are or could become slick is a great step toward preventing slips. This can be done with temporary and permanent signs as well as with tape and floor markings. In reference to tape, not only can tape direct people where to move within safe areas or alert them to areas that need attention, it can also provide stability in the form of anti-slip and or gripping tape. Now, although there are many ways to avoid slips, these three should get you off to a great start. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips and stay safe. Now, before going anywhere, let's hear a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.